Just days ago, the Federal Reserve raised the interest rate again, up three quarters of a point. That does a lot of things. Makes it harder to buy a home, makes your credit cards more expensive. It's all put forth to curb inflation, with consumer prices rising over 8% the past year alone. Local financial pro John Vandergriff of Blue Ridge Wealth Management says history indicates raising the interest rate is the understandable move. But there's a reason we're not calling our current situation a recession. What's made this situation different than times in the past is we've had dropping unemployment during all of the interest rate increases. And normally when you have an interest rate increase, a drop in GDP, and a lower or a higher unemployment rate, then that's what launches people into a recession. This is what, you know, the lack of unemployment uh, has really been the, the key indicator that a lot of people have really held off on calling this a recession so far. Vandergriff, who's been a financial planner for almost 11 years now, says it's all a delicate balance. He says in the long term, things should even out. But with that, he believes this is a very unique time because our national debt has never been higher and the overall tax bracket has never been lower. A lot of the headlines today are talking about inflation, and rightfully so because it's a lot more expensive than it has been. But even if inflation numbers come down, I think tax increases that will come in the future will have a similar impact to in the inflation that we're seeing today. In the last eight months, the interest rate has jumped three and three quarters percentage points. Vandegrift agrees the rate will probably jump even higher than first expected. Dave Staley, News 12.